Hello and welcome back to the channel for another episode. It's me, EXP here, and today you find me at my brand new outpost. I say brand new, I kind of stumbled across this while in the middle of a snowstorm and Donkey very much appreciated it. A nice little shed here, already built up from a little farm area, and of course a radio outpost, which we were very lucky to come across. Has the basic essentials up here. Nice place to sleep, a radio, dining area, furnace, a few bits of food, and some essentials, and obviously a bed. Also, a nice little hidden storage up here. Not that we're going to use it, but it might leave something for the next person. But yeah, after that intro, as you're probably aware, I have travelled north for pretty much three days. You could say, I've been through a desert on a horse with no name. Although his name is Muley. And I will name tag him eventually. But yes, on to today's episode. Now, as I said, we kind of got holed up here, so I haven't really done much with the area. But, we're going to settle in for a bit. Do a little bit of farming. And see if we can't get our bearings to carry on north because this just looks like a barren wasteland if you ask me Ta -da 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 -da. oh we didn't check this chest did we huh and if that ain't a sign i don't know what is hmm so i guess we've got a map to follow Hmm? Right then, while I go head out onto this map, I'd like to remind you to subscribe to follow the story, my little adventure here. Leave a like, leave a comment. Let's crack on. Which direction do we need to go? Is it this way, is it that way? And can donkeys actually fall into powdered snow? That is a question we'll have to answer. Well, let me tell you, donkeys do not make easy travel companions when you're in the middle of an ice area frozen lake with a frozen shipwreck oh right right so we're pretty close now we're in the map radius donkey's safe for now let's go search now i know there's a trick to finding this quite easily but i absolutely suck at it so i'm just gonna go ham at this whole area oh never mind there it is Hmm. Nothing too amazing, really. I don't know why I was sent down here, then. I also found an igloo on the way and raided that. Ah, no idea. Let's get back to Donkey, then. No! My poor muley companion. I wasn't even recording for that, either, but I lost it to powdered snow. The bane of everyone's existence. It's a good job. Diddle, yeah. He dropped all his stuff, luckily enough. R.I.P. Muley. You shall be missed. Huh. What on earth is that? Just a rather statue. In the middle of nowhere. Hmm. Should we get some quartz while we're here then? <laughs> oh! Ha! Huh. Um... Where? Don't really have anywhere else to go. Ugh! Well, this is foreboding yet again. Uh, why do I keep getting myself in these situations? Oh, oh. Huh. I probably should stop walking through portals, but I mean, this doesn't seem as menacing as the last time. I don't know. Hmm. This is a fancy staircase, though. 
if it is a little bit dilapidated. Huh, huh. Is there anything else around? Doesn't look well maintained. Where exactly does this lead to? Oh. Well, <laughs> certainly a higher. Oh. Intriguing. I don't know why, but this place is a lot calmer. A lot calmer than the last place we were at. Even if there is just as much of a suspicious book. Hmm. Do not be deceived. You are being guided into a false fate of what shouldn't be. Have faith in yourself for I cannot intervene more than three times. This is the first. Do not bring about the end after the end. The keepers. Have faith. Jump. Well... I don't know about you, but that seemed a lot less pushy than the other book I read. What do you think? Hmm. And jump. Have faith in myself. I mean, what exactly do they mean by have faith in myself? Like, I'm pretty confident in the kind of person I am. You know, I don't second guess myself. I don't always think I'm doing the right thing, but... Generally speaking, I don't think I have ill intentions. I think that makes me okay. But that have faith jump. Do they mean literally or do they mean metaphorically? I suppose there's only one thing we can do. Uh, uh. Oh. Oh, we're back at spawn. I'm guessing they didn't want me to carry on going north then. I suppose we'd best head over to the factory and go from there. I don't know what to make of all that. So we either carry on going north, try again, go even further north, seek out the obelisk, or trust in myself, have faith in myself. I just. I don't know. My gut is telling me to carry on going north, just to at least see from my own eyes what we're dealing with. But, I'm back at spawn. I still with a few lingering projects. We've just come back from a little excursion in the nether to get ourselves some glowstone. Because, one thing that we've been meaning to do for a while, and we're slowly getting round to it, is setting up the tea aspect of the tea shop. <laughs> rather than just bamboo so down here in this little hidey hole we're setting up an actual functioning brewing area put our glowstone down and mine it with the proper one nope we didn't <laughs> this one there we go because we need glow dust or potions of strength so we're going to be making potions of might do night vision but we'll definitely be doing invisibility and strength are the main ones. Now, for strength, we want them to be stronger rather than last longer. Invisibility, we want to last longer. So that's why we need redstone and glowstone. Currently got enough to make five spider eyes, so we'll do that now. Then all we need is... I forgot my bucket to make an infinite water source. I guess I'll go and get that then in a bit. A bit? In a bit? And bucket acquired. There's one. There's two. There's infinite. Let's get our first three bottles and start with some potions. And there we go. That's our awkward potion brood. They do absolutely nothing. Give them a golden carrot. 
that gives us our night vision, three minutes. Dropping our eye. That gives us invincibility. Now all we need is redstone. If I remember right, that's the right one, yeah. And that gives us our eight minutes potions of invisibility to sell. Not quite sure how much to sell them for yet. I'm going to stay here, brew a few more potions, and then I'll meet you back over at the factory. And there we go. We're all set up to sell tea. Strength two. And invisibility eight minutes. Right. Off we go. And let's start a few of the lingering projects again. Firstly, and foremostly, I think I will build up my office. Now, chances are, I'm just going to get there, I'm going to show you the before, and then I'll show you the after. Because this video, it's not getting along. Also, if you're wondering why there's an awful large amount of chickens here, we decided, well, Lou mostly decided to have an egg war with Silent while she was building a pond. Well, because I threw an egg at her first. <laughs> after also tormenting her with magma blocks while she was afk which was a bit silly of her but she didn't lose any levels she didn't i don't think she was too happy about it though but it's done it's all fun and games i'm sure she'll have something to get us back with at some point anyway i'm digressing right the before and after listen hey well look look i've got a new donkey friend he's a new donkey friend we're gonna name him in a bit but yeah uh about that quick, quick once over and it's done, well, us Minecraft YouTubers tend to have this issue where we lie. <laughs> well, not exactly lie, but like, because I didn't actually have any plans for this building, like, I let my imagination run wild, and, well, it became a massive project. A much bigger project than I was expecting it to. We've ended up building a nice massive office space and a house with a fancy garden. Well, we're still making the fancy garden. We're still making the house for that matter. But I'll give you I'll give you the grand tour, shall I? We'll go in through the back door because for some reason I've made it completely backwards and this is the back door as well, rather than the front door. The front door being completely over there. I, I don't know. Don't ask. Look. Yeah, we've, we've got that classic kitchen floor, you know, there's no such thing as a kitchen without this floor. It's very barren on the inside still. Over into a pantry. I need to do something about this segue. I don't like it. It just it just happens. Put a nice little countertop here for now. And we've got a well, we've got a portal here because I had to move it from this wall because it wasn't any room. Uh, this is where we're going to have a technically living space. Well, it's not really living space, but that's how it's going to be decorated, shall we say. With a lovely cozy fireplace through here we'll have the working offices down here probably i might make it into a working office and library maybe that kind of thing and a little bit of storage over here not massive amount because we're going to have the main storage building over there in that big part through here which hasn't actually been done yet i'm planning on making a side entrance which will probably be the most useful part of it i don't know because it comes straight into this bit. And then up here, you have a little bit of loft space in the main storage, which will be kind of the bedroom, I guess. Obviously, it all needs decorating. And then we'll carry on up out into the canopy and balcony and patio area, which is weird because this is the front door and it's absolutely massive and it's not actually a door. And the stairs start outside. No, I don't know. Look, I, just, I don't know. Okay. I figured, you know what? I've got too many ideas. Uh, what is going on there? Ah, because it's a wall there. No big deal. We might sort that out. We might not. But yeah, I had far too many ideas. And I just let my brain go mental with creativity. Down into our garden path. So far, we've plonked ourselves a tree that's about the only bit of terraforming we've done 
a little bit of wheat plant here not for any other reason other than aesthetics i didn't really know how to combine the two buildings but i don't think i did too badly considering you know this bracket isn't too bad at all it doesn't look out of place no, that's the only way of describing it. it took forever to get this nice do I want to plonk a stair there instead of you? Maybe. I'm thinking too much of it anyway. You need to be moved. You're only there temporary because I don't want spawns. Uh, don't know what I'm going to do with that. <laughs> don't know what I'm going to do with that. Around here we've got our little mountain with a tree. With a beehive which just randomly grew on the one tree so I thought I might as well put it on there but I prefer harvest it as well at some point but yeah that is our building now for the last part of today we now have a challenge thanks to Lou getting bored over the weekend and it is the weekend over Lou getting bored over the week he decided to unleash every single egg he's saved up at spawn and has caused a lag machine <laughs> because there's about a billion chickens at spawn so we're gonna go Hunting them down for the possibility to win a prize. <laughs> we haven't even got to spawn yet. You can already see the uh, bedlam that's happened. Right. Let's see how many heads we can get. We need quarter a stack. 16 heads and we win. Here we go. This is easy pickings. We've got our first. That's why they call me the chicken murderer. I'm sorry I wouldn't normally murder chickens, but I would very much like to not lag at spawn. <laughs> I don't think we're getting these uh, heads anytime soon. You know what? I'm going to crack on with this for a while. I'll come back to you for when I give up. I genuinely think this is a losing battle. Stay away from my eggs, they're mine. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyway, with that out of the way, and nothing else to inform let's get back on donkey and head back out north hope you enjoyed the episode till next time <laughs>